you know that simultaneous linear equations can be solved algebraically or graphically. Now, how do we solve them graphically? We first graph them on a graph paper, both the equations, and the point at which they intersect is termed to be as the solution of both the equations. But what if those two lines do not intersect at all? Then what do we do? Or how do we graph them? Well, we see these two equations here. Let's see when we graph them, what do I get? Now, every time the lines cannot be intersecting. What if the lines are parallel? Or you can say, what if the lines coincide with each other? Like this. Well, there can be times like this. Let's see what do we get when we graph these two equations. First of all, what do we do? We first make y the subject of the equation so that when we put values for x, we get the subsequent values for y. And then this combination of x, comma y will give us the coordinates to graph on the graph paper. 3y is equal to 9 minus 2x or y is equal to 9 minus 2x by 3. So here, y is the subject of this equation. Now we will put values for x to find out y. Here, let's take random values for x, such as 0, 3, minus 3, taking first x as 0. What will you get? 9 minus 2 into 0. Now 2 into 0 becomes 0. So 9 minus 0 by 3. 9 by 3 gives you what? 3. So when x is 0, y is 3 for this equation. Similarly, put 3 and minus 3 and tell me the values for y. What will you get? 9 minus 2 into 3. So 2 into 3 is 6. 9 minus 6 gives you 3. So 3 by 3 gives you 1. So when x is 3, y is equal to 1. Similarly, find out when x is minus 3. What will you get? 9 minus 2 into minus 3. First solve 2 into minus 3 gives you what? Minus 6. So 9 minus minus 6 by 3. What will you get? 9 minus minus plus 6, that is 15 by 3. Now 15 by 3 is 5. So when x is minus 3, y is 5 for this equation. So we get our three coordinates. 0, 3, 3, 1 and minus 3, 5. And graphing this or plotting these coordinates on the graph paper will help us graph this equation. So let us name them as point A, B and C and graph this. 0, 3, 0 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. Take the point B, 3, 1. 3 on the x-axis, 1 on the y-axis. Now the point C, minus 3, 5. Minus 3 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. Now you know, joining these three points, we get the line for the equation. Now this equation is 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0. So you can see this red line gives us the graph of this equation. Now we have a second equation as well. Let us solve this. First make y the subject. So we have made y the subject. Now we will put values for x and find out y. Here we have taken again random values for x, 0, minus 6, and 6. Let's take out y. First we are taking x as 0. What will you get? 18 minus 4 into 0, that is 0. So 18 by 6 is 3. 
So when x is 0, y is 3. Similarly, find out the values for y when x is minus 6 and 6. Tell me what will be the values of y. What will you get? Minus 6 into 4 is minus 24. So 18 minus minus 24 by 6. What will you get? 18 minus minus 24 plus, that means 18 plus 24. What will you get? 42 by 6, that is 7. So when x is minus 6, y is 7. Similarly, when we substitute 6 in the place of x, we get minus 1. So we are ready with our three coordinates, 0, 3, minus 6, 7 and 6, minus 1, which when plotted will give us the graph of this equation. Now let's plot these points, 0, 3, 0 on the x-axis, 3 on the y-axis. Again, what do you see? Well, again, point D and point A are same. So again, you know that this line is going to intersect at point A. Now the second point, minus 6, 7. Minus 6, 7 is here. This is point E. Well, if you see one thing, if I extend this line, I will be able to cross this. Well, maybe it is visually so, but if I do it literally, it might not touch this point. First, let's plot point F and C. Point F is 6, minus 1. So 6 and minus 1. Again, one thing. What is this happening? This line is intersecting at two places. First, let's join our points D, E and F. And let's see. Well, what do I see? This line, this blue line, which has been hidden by this line. D, E and F. These three points when joined are actually coinciding with the red line. You can see the blue line which depicts the second equation and the red line which depicts the first equation are actually coinciding. Now, what do you mean by coinciding lines? These lines are not intersecting lines. They are coinciding lines. What are intersecting lines? Intersecting lines look like this, where they intersect at one point. But this line, these two lines are coinciding. That means they are intersecting at each and every point. That means they are having the same solutions. So you can say that the first equation will have the solution what? A, B and C, which were we were having, these red dots. And the blue line, that is the second equation, will have these solution. We are having D, E and F. But you can say that all these points, A, B, C, D, E and F, will satisfy the solutions for the first equation as well as for the second equations. So this is how coinciding lines are graphed on a graph paper. So you could see that these two equations were coinciding on a graph paper. That means the solutions for this equation will be the same solutions for this equation. Actually, what happens is that both the equations are equivalent. But it's just that one can be simplified to get the identical of the other one. Let's simplify this equation and see whether we get this equation or not. Let's simplify this by dividing each and every term by 2. Dividing this side, that is the left hand side, and the right hand side by What do you get? Well, this we cannot divide it directly, so we will break it up. 4x by 2 plus 6y by 2 minus 18, 18 by 2 gives you 0 by 2 is 0. So what do you get? This gives you 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0. See, it is identical with the first equation. That means both the equations are equivalent. It's just that the other one or any one of them can be simplified to get the other. So you can see these were the coinciding lines. They, the two equations were actually equivalent, but that one could be simplified to be identical with the other. And these two equations will have the same solutions. 
So these two equations ha will have infinite number of solutions for both of them. Now you could know that coinciding lines could be graphed like this. What about parallel lines? Well, when will I get parallel lines on the graph paper? Something like this. Well, if they are like this, that means they will never intersect with one another. So that means they will never have a solution for both the equations. Let's see. Here we are having two equations for you. Graph them on a graph paper and see what do you get. First, we will make y as the subject. And we get y is equal to 4 minus x by 2. Now substitute x values here and get the subsequent values for y. Well, when x is 0, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 1. And when x is 4, y is 0. So we are getting the three coordinates as 0, 2, 2, 1 and 4, 0. So we will plot these points and graph this equation. So when we graph this equation, we see point A, that is 0, 2, point B, 2, 1 and point C, 4, 0. These three points, when joined by a straight line, gives us the graph of this equation x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we were talking about the second equation. Let's see where it lies. So again, we'll make y the subject of this. We get y is equal to 12 minus 2x by 4. Now what we will do? We will substitute values for x and find out y. So if I give you the values for x as 0, 2 and 4, find out the values for y and tell me. Well, the values for y are 3 for 0 when zero x is 0, 2 when x is 2, and 1 when x is 4. So we get the coordinates 0, 3, 2, 2, and 4, 1. So we will plot these points on the same graph paper and see what do we get. Let's plot these points. Let's name this as D, E, and F. Now plot these points 0, 3. 0 on the x-axis, 3 on the y-axis. This is d, 0, 3. Similarly, e and f, e that is 2, 2, it lies here. And f that is 4, 1, so 4 and 1 here. Now let's join this and let us remove this point so that you can see a clear line. See, this blue line joins the points D, E and F and is the graph of the equation 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now even if I extend these two lines this way or this way, they will never intersect. Now we know when two lines intersect each other on a graph paper, the intersecting point gives us the solution for those two equations. But here, these two equations will never meet. They will never intersect each other. So will they have never a solution which will satisfy both the equations? Well, no. If there is no intersecting point, they will never have a solution common to both the equations. Let us solve this separately and see is this true or not. Now you know that these two equations can be solved by the substitution method or by the elimination method. Let us use the elimination method and see. Let us multiply this equation by 2. And writing this second equation same. What do you see? The terms, that is the variable terms, 2x plus 4y, then minus 8 is equal to 0. Again, the same term of variables, 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, both can be written like this. 2x plus 4y gives you 8. And 2x plus 4y gives you 12. Well, can this happen? Whenever I substitute x or y values, it will either give me 8 or it will either give me 12. That means these two equations cannot be solved together. That means these two equations will not have a solution common for both.
So we can say that these were parallel lines when graphed on the graph paper and they did not have any intersecting point. That means for a system of equations that graphs as parallel lines, there can be no solution and this will be a fact. Whenever there are two parallel lines, they will never have a solution common to both the equations. So what did we study today? First of all, two equations that graph as coinciding lines are actually what? They are equivalent, but one could be simplified to be identical with the other. One could be simplified to get the other one, just as we took the example. And so they will have infinite number of solutions. As they lie on the same lines, they are coinciding, so they will have infinite number of solutions. And for a system of equations that graph as parallel lines, there can be no solution. So this is what we study about these parallel lines and coinciding lines on a graph paper.